Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back for another DC vlog. We Hi. <laughs> are about to go to Mount Vernon. I'm very excited. It is the military ball slash dining out event. And I will share as much of that as I can. I wish I would have thought to do like a get ready with me. I guess I still could, but I get bo I'm get I'm planning on getting ready in the most boring way possible. So I'll include some of that in this in this video. Hopefully I don't get more sunburn today. I um don't know if you can tell, but from my forehead to right there, it just gets redder and redder. <laughs> redder and redder. Tomato. <laughs> I like a tomato. But let's go ahead, let's go to Mount Vernon. This video is also a weigh-in Wednesday, so I will go over my most recent weigh-in at the end of this video. So this will be my first weigh-in after my trip to Mobile, which some of you may have seen my last videos where I talked about being in Mobile. This video takes place on May 20th. The mansion at George Washington's Mount Vernon is one of the most iconic 18th century homes in America. George Washington's mansion is 10 times the size of the average home in Colonial Virginia. Inside the mansion, we saw the new room, which you'll see first, and then the last thing we saw was Washington's private study. This, I was really interested in the fact that it was actually a fairly small home and it was his vision to turn it into what you see that we're touring. There's a lot of really good information on the website and a lot of what I say I'm going to be pulling directly from their website. We actually got there at the perfect time so while we waited in line for quite a while it wasn't that bad. This is the new room. It is the last edition. I really loved all of the art in this room. Um, they also had balls and dinners, big formal dinners and things like that in that room and then this is the next room that we went through, just very beautiful. The ceiling you see behind is actually from the new room. This was their dining area and apparently painting it that green color was extraordinarily expensive and supposed to be like a show of wealth. These are a couple of the bedrooms that we saw and I just really liked them. This is George Washington and his wife's bedroom and then this is the study. So I really enjoyed seeing the study and the bedroom that you saw is actually the bedroom he died in. This is leaving through his study. You pass by that little dining area on the right, the green one, and then a little food preps place on the left. And then you end up in the kitchen once you walk out. We just toured the mansion. It was a fun, fun experience. Very beautiful, very interesting. Um, the tour was very crowded, so I took some pictures, but I probably shouldn't have even done that. I probably should have just been in the moment, so I kind of regret that maybe a little. It went by really, really fast. When we went through the Biltmore, and the Biltmore was so massive. This is not as massive, but it was so beautiful and special, so it's pretty interesting. While Mount Vernon was the home of George Washington, it was also the home to hundreds of enslaved men, women, and children who lived under George Washington's control. He depended on their labor to build and maintain his household and plantation. They, in turn, found ways to survive in a world that denied their freedom. What you're looking at now is where the enslaved men specifically lived who worked in or around the house up here. Everyone lived where they worked. So men and women were separated from their families. A lot of the families had small homes on the property. My husband and I actually went and looked at one um, towards the end of our tour and they only saw their families on Sundays. As a young man, Washington accepted slavery, but after the Revolutionary War, he began to question it. Washington avoided the issue publicly, believing that bitter debates over slavery could tear apart the fragile nation. He made his most public anti-slavery statement after his death in his will. Washington ordered that his enslaved workers be freed at his wife's death. Unfortunately, this applied to fewer than half of the people in bondage at Mount Vernon.
Mount Vernon consisted of five farms and the standard slave quarter on Mount Vernon was a rough one room log structure with a wooden chimney. The enslaved men and women who worked at the house or near it, as I said, slept in the bunk areas. There was often more than one person to a bed. As you left heading towards like the restaurant and things, there was a gift shop. So you have to go out kind of the way you came. You're just using a different area of that building. And so we went through the museum before heading to the restaurant to have lunch. All right, we have seen all of the sights and we are headed to grab some lunch and then come back to our hotel to get ready for the ball. All right, beautiful people. So I'm about to start getting ready to go sunburned and all. It's really bad. So I was making a decision on which dress to wear and I couldn't, so I brought both dresses and the sunburn has made the decision for me. I was really wanting to wear the blue dress. It's so beautiful, but I will be wearing the black one because it's a high neck and I am just embarrassingly sunburned. I applied sunscreen twice, so it's just the way that I am built. I am, I turn red very easily. I'm extraordinarily white. Like my skin is so light and it's just almost like translucent, lucid, I just burn. And that's probably why I have like the rosacea and stuff, which is as aggravated right now. But, <laughs> oh, there's our slightly messy room. I sort of made our bed this morning. Um, my husband likes to hop back in and since he's kind of had the day off, days off, he's been spending a lot of time and he's just chilling on the bed so it doesn't really stay made. Um, and then my luggage so is on the bed because I had to go through it to find stuff for this. So anyway, let's go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna get in the shower and then I'll see you when I roll my hair.
And I think I, um, she get my hair professionally done if we ever do this again. Looking like a stud. I actually love the bow tie so much. I think you should only wear bow ties from this point forward. Oh, is that right? Yeah. We are on our way to the event. I'm pretty excited. My husband looks pretty handsome. He's wearing a bow tie. Um, and I doubt I'll be filming much there. So, hope you enjoyed the get ready with me, or get ready with me part. And I will share anything if I can, if I feel like I want to. <laughs> and if not, I'll see you after. Here, my husband is being awarded with NCO of the quarter, and that is the whole reason we were up in DC was that he had this competition. And then the ball was this Friday, and then the next day, we were gonna come up anyway for the Spartan Stadion, and we both ended up doing that. So that's really exciting, and I'll talk more about that in my month update video, but this was the ball. Hello beautiful people, time, time jump. We're into June, so I just got back from Mobile and it is time for the weigh-in portion. So the majority of this video, everything you saw up to now was filmed on May 20th. So that's when we went to Mount Vernon and that is when we went to my husband's military ball. I am so proud of him for winning. He had to do so much studying and he also had to, to like score really well during a physical um, assessment or PT test and it was those two things that made up the the winner. So he appeared before a board, and that was the test. They a group of a group of his superiors asked him lots of questions, and then he and his peers were scored, and my husband won. So super super proud of him. And let's just jump into that weigh-in. So and I weighed in at two fifty seven point nine pounds. And so I'm very happy. I was gone from home for over a week. I am very happy with my loss and I am I am working for that 100. I wanna be 100 down by the end of the month and that is my goal. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but you know what? I'm pretty positive it's happening. So we're just gonna, we're gonna make it so, you know? We're gonna put in that work and make it happen. If you haven't and you'd like to follow along on my journey, go ahead and click that subscribe button, ding the bell so you'll be notified when I post. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Or feel free to click on either of these videos to get caught up on what's been going on in my world recently.